Hello everyone. Welcome to this ISXR 7.6.1 video. Today I am going to talk about QoS enhancements on the NCS 5700 series routers. <laughs> My name is Pavan Sharma and I am a technical marketing engineer with Cisco, MIC routing business unit. The feature I am going to talk today is egress traffic manager or the ETM. Here is an overview of the ETM for QoS feature. So this feature is applicable from ISXR761 and the platforms where this feature is supported is NCS 5700 series fixed or modular line cards with external TCAM. This is a new queuing model where we do the queuing at the egress and PU itself. This function is enabled at port level to offer flexibility. So we can choose which port I want to use the new queuing architecture and in which of the ports I'll stick to the previous queuing architecture. Both can coexist together. We can have significant increase in terms of queuing scalability because we are doing the VOQ localization. This feature also allows us to plan our queuing policies or the egress policies in a better way. It allows classification based on packet header information like DSCP, COS, IP prac, MPLS, EXP, etc. And it also allows scheduling of multicast traffic for egress. Along with ETM, we get more granular shaper for low rate services. So now let's take a more uh, at the new ETM VOQ model. So the VOQ replication with this new ETM mode uh, can be of two types. One is for the non-ETM port, that is where I have not enabled this particular function. It will follow the traditional VOQ replication. That means all the VOQs for those ports will be replicated across the system in different NPUs present in the system. Now for the ETM enabled port, I won't have VOQ replication on my foreign NPUs. I'll have those VOQs present only at the local NPU. The NPU recycle ports will be replicated across the NPU because this will help in recycling back the traffic for the ETM destined port. Here is a data path for a modular system for ETM traffic. So whenever traffic hits my ingress NPU and there is a lookup happens, it will point to the remote recycle port and it will be forwarded via the fabric towards the remote recycle port. So if there is a queuing needed, I will queue here on the ingress and queue for the VOQs dedicated to the remote recycle port. Now once the packet reaches my destination and queue, it hits the recycle port so it will be recycled back to the ingress pipeline where I will do the lookup again and now it will point to the actual port VOQs and whatever queuing needs to be done here will be based on my actual port VOQ and the actual egress policy. Finally the port will go out of the, uh, the traffic will go out of the egress port in step 6. Now the configuration steps for ETM involves three basic steps. One is I have to enable ETM per port basis using the controller optics configuration. So whenever I do this configuration, my existing interface configurations are erased. So we need to make a note of this one. Then we have to define the policy map uh, which sticks to the rules for ETM. Uh, that means classification based on like uh, DSCP, COS, PREC, MPLS, EXP, etc. Uh, so we can also do traffic class based classification, but that needs a special hardware module command. Then we need to make sure uh, that set traffic class is present on each of the class maps present in the policy map. Then finally, I can apply this policy to my ETM enable port. So this can be the main interface as well, or it can be the different sub interface that is present on the interface for this example. I have interface uh, 0 0.1 which is a sub interface and I have applied a policy map uh, defined for ETM here. Now let's take a look at how ETM works on a live router. Let's get started with the demo. I have one NCS 57B1 SE routers running 761 code and in one of the port I have enabled ETM that is port number 0 
uh, using the controller optics configuration for other ports i don't have any configuration that is they are normal ports i can verify the etm by using the voq base uses so for port 100 giga 000 i can see there are two voq bases allocated one is 1792 which corresponds to the actual port voq and the other one is 1024 which is the remote recycle port voq base for rest of the ports where there is no etm mode configured i can see only single voq base corresponding to the actual port voqs now i have configured my uh, 100 gigi port with an output policy so this policy will follow the rules uh, that i need to apply for an etm based policy i can also apply policies on sub interfaces belonging to the etm enabled port uh, but for this example i have used the main port only let's take a look at the policy map in detail so this particular policy map uh, is an egress policy so i am doing the queuing action like shaping queue limit some priority levels and weighted fair queuing using the bandwidth remaining for the other class the particular things to note here is the set traffic class statement in each of the class apart from class default this is needed uh, to choose which voq to be used for those particular class in class default by default the voq susan is the voq zero if i take a look at the different class maps i am matching based on precedence so with etm i am allowed to match on my packet header information like ip dscp ip precedence amperes exp or say layer to cost and even say ip acls uh, just like on the ingress policies for non-etm port we are limited to matching only traffic class values which is not the case for an etm enabled port i also have some traffic flowing out of this particular interface so let's take a look at the policy map counters so if i see like i have maps on each of this uh, different classes prac 5 prac 4 prac 3 or class default by checking the corresponding voq stats that is the voq base 1792 i can see my packets hitting this particular voq tc0 this actually corresponds to my class default then tc3 tc4 tc5 uh, corresponds to my classes like PAC 5, PAC 4 or PAC 3. So basically that match or uh, the set statement on my egress policy map are punting those traffic to this particular VOQ. Now as far as my other VOQ is concerned that is the 1024 base I can see match only on this TC0. These are let's say some internal other traffic. So majority match is on TC0 because uh, on my first pass, I am not doing any traffic class setting, so everything is coming to TC0. So this will be changed if I have policy on the uh, ingress interface and, and I set the respective traffic class, uh, then the traffic will be distributed accordingly in this particular traffic class uh, TC values. That was a quick demo on ETM. So this was all from my side today. To learn more about ETM, please take a look at the XRDocs article on ETM. Thank you.